Yo, what's good, guys? This is me attempting to vlog on the GH5, testing out the autofocus feature uh, for my final test on my full length review. It's Easter Sunday, so happy belated Easter to every single one of y'all because it will definitely be later uh, by the time I post this. I'm using the, I don't even know how you pronounce this brand, Le Le Lisa? Le Leca? I don't know. It's a Panasonic uh, native lens, and this is the 12 millimeter f1.4. I'm shooting at a 2.8 just so you all can see that uh, if I'm not in focus, it'll definitely be very relevant in the shot. So my first initial thought on vlogging with this system is it's very heavy. I'm using a Gorilla Pie and I have my video mic pro uh, from Rode on with this lens. And this system isn't that heavy, but it's a lot more heavy uh, than what I'm used to using the 6300 with the native lens and this exact same mic setup. Yo, what's good guys? Back to vlogging. I got a few things that I want to talk about. But I guess we'll do that in the car. I have all of this stuff right here that I have to ship off to the winners of the giveaway, the GoPros, the backpack packages and all of that. But let's head out and chat. Post office and DMV are definitely competing for the most stressful places on earth, 100%. Hopefully the exposure on this is good. Every time I try to set this up or rig this up in the car, it exposes for the background. I can't really see the screen, so I can't do manual exposure. So hopefully I'm good. I, I doubt I am. I doubt that it is. I bet that it is underexposed, but anyways, we're gonna talk. Congratulations to anyone and everyone who did win something in the giveaway. I will be doing a lot of giveaways soon. The live stream was really fun. I really did enjoy it a lot. So uh, thank you to y'all again. I appreciate every single one of y'all who subscribes to the channel. Check out the content whenever I drop. Really appreciate it, man. That's just my overall goal with the content is to get it seen by people. And y'all are here and y'all definitely appreciate it and liking it. And I, I like y'all. I think that I, I thank y'all. Thank y'all for that. Thank y'all for that. Heading to Chick Fil A right now. I'm trying to get some breakfast. Hopefully, I can make it because I've been in the post office for literally like an hour because I went in there. And I had to ship off three backpacks and a GoPro, and I didn't have any boxes. And I had to go in there and package everything up, and it was just a stressful, so stressful, so stressful. I feel good though, man. I'm back to vlogging. I always say I'm back to vlogging, but I really am. I'm trying to really commit to at least film something every day. I often let my edits or other work that I have get in the way of me vlogging and creating content and putting stuff out on the channel. I'm tr and I'm really trying to quit that. I want to consistently post my vlogs. I feel like I've been putting vlogs on the back end of things now and I don't like that at all because I feel like the vlogs are what really ramped up the activity on the channel. The tutorials are good as well, but like some weeks I'll just do a tutorial and upload a music video and just not vlog and I don't know like I don't like that man I know a lot of people love the vlogs so I want to definitely try to stay consistent with these I'm vowing to film at least something every day and to get these weekly vlogs out to y'all regardless of what I'm doing throughout the week whether that be edits or other type of work and right now I don't have work so I feel good I got all my edits done I got a lot of music videos coming to the channel soon so y'all should have a lot of dope content to check out when I get to the house I have a package that I have to open a company sent something over to me I'm not sure Sure, if I can show you all the product, I don't know. I have to read over the terms of the actual product being sent to me. I'm not sure that this is even released yet, but regardless, uh, depending on what, depending on what my circumstances are of me receiving this package, I'll be able to unbox it and show you all, and I guess test it. I don't know. It's, I still think it's cool as hell that companies send stuff to me. If you are out there and you are considering getting on YouTube but you're just holding out because you're scared to be on camera or you have other work to do or whatever, think about it, man, because it has its quirks, honestly. Not even just the ad revenue and the other money that you can make on YouTube, but just building a community and you can even have companies send you things, which is dope as hell to me. Think about it, man. Think about it, man. You can build your fan base. You can do a bunch of things on YouTube, man. You don't have to do tutorials. or you, I, Do whatever you want to do, man. If you're thinking about YouTube, just start. I think a lot of people just 
don't start because they're embarrassed or they don't I, it's, it's definitely weird putting the camera in front of your face it took me so long to get used to it if y'all go back and look at like my first couple vlogs they were like super boring and like mad awkward because i couldn't talk on camera i would just flash on up right here so all right we wrapped the video the homies back yeah back in town um back in the field i gotta go ship my lens off i'm so i, I already sold it um so i gotta ship that off and then i'm gonna order my new lens tonight which i check that out when i get it but uh yeah man just come with us we're probably gonna do some other stuff too not too sure but uh yeah i'm just trying to bring out some content but they're super cringy to watch for me even so things always get better man that's what music videos that's what filming that's what whatever you want to do whether you're playing basketball playing gaming or whatever everything gets better man i think people often wait for the perfect time to start something and that's just the wrong thing to do just start just start man it doesn't matter what camera you have it doesn't matter what equipment you have it doesn't matter what skill you have if you want to do something it's gonna eventually get better and that's with everything so just start man there's no perfect scenario to start if you're waiting to buy a red to start shooting music videos or film you're never gonna start and even if you do get a red or whatever before you start you're not gonna have any knowledge on how to use it you really need to dibble and dabble into these cheaper cameras um, because they are gonna really teach you what you need to know. I say this often, I always talk about the T2i because that was my first camera, uh, but it was my most important camera in my career just because it told me everything that I needed to know with cameras, shutter speed, ISO, how to properly expose an image, shutter speed, frame rates, all of that, literally. The T2i is my most important camera and I will always say that. I totally forgot I had this Wacom tab, but then I had to return it. Taking this back, man. It's like the little pass that you can draw on digitally and it goes to your computer. I was gonna use it for like these animations that I had to do for this music video, but I just ended up paying someone because I didn't have the time. Return, man, I need my money back. While I'm here though, I definitely do wanna check out this solid state drive from Samsung. This Lacey's been giving me a hard time lately, so I wanna upgrade. I just don't know if I wanna spend the 400 or so it's gonna cost to get this right now. These are like super small. Look how small these are. It's like. In comparison, this is my hand. This is a solid state drive that's external that you can just take on the go with you for your projects. Look how small that is. I don't know if you can get a sense of how thin it is right here, but these are super small and they're super fast as well. And this is my actually my first time looking at the new MacBook Pros with the touch bar. These are kind of fire. Ooh, I can't even stunt. This is kind of hard. Sheesh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. can't lie y'all definitely want to pick up one of those new macbook pros i'm trying to fire like if you haven't seen one you gotta like go see one in person it's crazy when i do move which should be fairly soon in a couple months man i want to minimize my entire desk setup i like it but i don't like it at the same time dope little carrying case i don't know what this is for I got a cord, maybe this is for charging it. I don't know. We gonna figure out. We gonna look over all this stuff. We are gonna get this set up and we gonna get some tests running from this. Also wanna shoot a music video from this, so hopefully that'll be fairly soon. But here's the product itself. And it looks nice. The build quality is nice. It's aluminum or metal, it's the red accents. And it's just real stealth looking, man. I like this a lot, so. I'm gonna hook this up and uh, try to get some tests running from this. This is the uh, Smooth 3 from Zion, Zion, nah, nah. Y'all know that company, man, they make the crane. Uh, they sent this over to me to test in their review. So yeah, we gonna set this up and we can get this running. I'm hype, I'm hype. I'm hype. Heading into the barbershop now. I gotta go get cleaned up. I gotta cut this stuff off my face. Ah, I just, I just, I just gotta get fixed, man. JK, my barber was not in town, but uh, here is the gimbal setup with my iPhone. I got it all set up. This is what it looks like. I got my phone on there, as you can see. And it's pretty dope. Uh, we're about to go out and we're gonna head and do some tests with this, get some photos real That's quick. Can you press record on this? Like right there, just press the record button. Oh. We're gonna switch over to the iPhone cam right now. All right, so. This is how this looks from the iPhone. Can you stop the recording on this? This looks pretty damn cool, honestly. Ooh, I could get used to this. This looks fresh, but yeah, um, I'm not the greatest at this like I am with the Ronin. Like this is kind of sort of a hard learning curve with the pistol grip gimbal. So 
Don't judge this product off of this test that I'm about to show y'all. We're at the end of the vlog. I'm gonna chat real quick. If you made it this far and you're about to check out, thank you. I appreciate it. Try me a like. You know I would appreciate it, man. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But like I said, I'm gonna chat real quick. I have like I have great expectations and things I want to do with these vlogs, man. But things just always get in the way, whether that be work or weather or whatever. Like I just got this in, which is a pack of indie filters for my Phantom. I wanted to go out and try this out, test this out, man, and do a Phantom settings video, but it's raining, so I didn't get an opportunity to do that, but it'll be coming soon. I also went in and ordered me a new microphone. If you haven't noticed, my audio has been on completely E lately with my videos, man. I just dropped uh, the What's In My Camera Bag video. If you haven't seen it, click this uh, info card right here. Check it out. Uh, beware, the audio was atrocious, but... I pay attention to that type of stuff, man, and it's no excuse for it. I'm typically the person that's like, yo, don't wait for a perfect opportunity to start creating content. Just use what you have, but it's no excuse for me, man. I have, I don't have the, I don't, I don't have the budget barrier that some people do have in terms of equipment. So I just went out, I purchased me a nice lavalier mic, which is the wireless system uh, that I've been needing for forever, man. And I have had so many videos on hold just because I know that my audio has been awful and. I just went ahead and purchased it, man. I got a lot of videos coming. I'm gonna be doing a review uh, on the gimbal system that I showed y'all in the vlog. I also need to put out my GH5 review. So late, man, I'm so behind. I got so many products I need to do reviews on, man, but it's gonna be a lot of content coming to the channel, man. A lot, I'm gonna be more consistent with these things. I'm gonna continue to bring out my daily vlogs. I wanna get more material into these vlogs. I wanna put them out more frequently, man. I'm thinking about doing two vlogs a week. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but I don't know, man. Y'all let me know. Let me know down in the comments, man. Would y'all like to see two vlogs a week? I think I need to uh, ramp up the activity in terms of vlogging, man, because a lot of people miss it. Um, I've gained some of these subscribers, y'all subscribers, from my vlogs. So, I don't know, man. Maybe that's something I need to get back to. But appreciate you guys once again for checking out the content, man. Subscribe if you haven't already. Continue to check out the content. I appreciate all y'all. Also, 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 my store is still on sale for 50% off by the time y'all see this. And this is going until Sunday, so... If you're interested in getting anything from me, digital product wise, the director guide, LUTs, transitions, whatever, use code 50 off at checkout. Please, please use code 50 off. Don't play yourself. Get that half off, man. Anyways, that's it, man. I'm going to check that guys out. Subscribe, like I said. Like. Peace.